welcome to healthy living thank you everyone for who is supporting the channel watching making comments liking and i really appreciate you all i need you i would not be able to do this but i love sharing what goes on in healthy living here i am again back in the yard i have so many things i need to do i have projects i have started have not finished and i just want to share with you as i go along and do now you hear about my garden that's called paradise i have started it a little while ago and it's time to kind of like do something but the reason why i have not really focused on doing too much with it is because you know how we have ideals and we got things still floating around in our head and we're not exactly sure how we want to tag that project i think i'm about there i think i know what i want to do with it so i'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see and then I will explain to you a lot more of what my ideals are. All right, family, this is paradise. Okay, y'all remember paradise. It's late in the evening, but I just want to share with you all what paradise is looking like. I have done the core board a little while ago. I'm planning on leaving the core board down, but I have my weed protector here. Just kind of give you a look. Of seeing what it's gonna look like <laughs> so so you can get some kind of idea that's one project you think I should do make a comment let me know I want to know your input how things can how can better things you know two heads three four heads is better than one okay then my other project that i have is right here i will be adding a little bit more soil i will be putting them uh, i guess you say blocks pavers back there in the back uh, they was free we like free my husband came along he ended up getting me several let's see can you see them several of them how many do i have y'all because i gotta make the best of it one two three four five six seven eight we're gonna make them eight work back there especially when you get something free and it was free so i'm excited about that my other project family this is my other project we talked about this in my videos uh once I was doing the center blocks, uh, I really was wanting to put some weed protector down here. Uh, the one I just showed you in Paradise, that's a little bit more reasonable, $20 or $30. But then I went to Lowe's and I got this. This is about close to $70. And the ones who have this in there garden i used to be seeing it and i was like oh my goodness where they get that from you know and this is what we should have had in our driveway when we did our boat and we had them rocks down i wasn't thinking my husband wasn't thinking the man who brought us the rocks wasn't thinking that should have been down first before we got our rocks but you will see that area as well i would like to use this down here For this area and you see it's a good size and everything I don't know if I actually want to only have so much of the close to the fence with the weed protector and be able to add my pots in that area and still keep the greenery in the middle if I take the greenery out that means that I don't have to worry about trying to uh, cut the grass or the grass shooting up on my plants and all of that so that's something to think about and this is so expensive so I don't want to use it in the wrong way so give me your thoughts on that and then you know I still have some of this extra black protection here right there that I can extend even more so to help in this area so 
Y'all y'all let me know what y'all think. Let's go to another area. This is another area on the side of the shed. Needs to be cleaned up. This area needs to be cleaned up. Just kind of want to just show y'all. Now you see where I was talking about we didn't have that weed protector. See that? That's going to have to be redone. You see this? All this, all this grass is going to have to be done. And I'm not going to be able to do this. This is going to have to be a, a separate video. But this is another area. This area here needs to be cleaned up. So I'm just pretty much showing y'all all the things I need to do to get my different areas that got out of control this is the first time this ever looking like this my neighbors are probably saying what in the world going on with wendy over there okay because i'm so key on my yard but you know what after a while you get so much going on in your life and uh it, it get by you you know you you just have so much going on now this area here is another area this is where the okra is so this area tends to die back it can get pretty weedy back there my husband always want to plant something back here uh, the okra did well and it's still putting out okra but I'm just going to use that okra just for seeds for next year all these little small trees you see here these are considered fruit trees my flower bed just want to share with you sorry about that I was up too close on it this area here you see the grass I need to get the grass out I need to maintain it I need to add some more soil and I need flowers in there in that area so this is a heart that my husband put together for me. Okay. This is a weeping willow tree that I brought from my husband. I'm thinking I want to build the dirt up around it and add mulch in it. And so the grass don't get so close to it. And, you know, when I'm weeding, I don't have to be uh, getting so close. And be whooping up on it <laughs> so that's the plans for that and then we have another flower bed raised bed that my husband built and this is kind of like his and this is what his is looking like it needs some attention as well y'all so that is something else we need to do I need to take the gnomes out and paint them and get them in order so things is just uh, need to be taken care of and I'm here just to share with you just to show you all the things I need to do but gradually gradually uh, this area I have always wanted to carve out and edge it up and have white rocks going on in this area it's funny how things look good from a distance until you get up on it I end up getting some white rocks today, busted bags at Lowe's, but the weeds and everything need to be pulled out, old leaves need to be removed, and oh my god, here's the bag, two bags here that I got today. So let's keep going, this area need to be cleaned up, and we're going to walk over here as well. All right, family. Now, this used to be my flower bed, and I turned around and put a cactus in it. I can't think of the name of it, but I will put it a little closer so y'all can see it. When we first moved here, a neighbor came to me and gave that to me. And I thought, oh, wow, that is so neat. People are still doing that. And uh, we have wonderful neighbors in, in our community, and they care. So I'm going to show you another area over here. It's a tree that it has little flowers on it. 
here's the flower right here I don't know the name of it this area here I need to rake it receive the leaves from here take these leaves and utilize them I'm gonna leave some leaves in some some area you know because it does keep the weeds back and everything but I need to take care of this plant here and I have other plants here as well um, that pops up randomly and that's how we like it when the season change you receive different flowers so right now I'm just talking about raking this area so family you see all the things I need to do and that's just outside okay that's just outside and the things that I would like to share with you. That's not even including the plants and the maintenance and, that we have to do. But there will be a video to come out just showing you all the things that I'm doing around here. My new projects and upgrading and maintenance in the yard from time to time. And I just wanted to share it with you all and let you know what I have going on and then that way you'll know what to expect because it's a lot it's a lot to make this all of this it's late y'all isn't that beautiful it's cool out here it's no bugs bothering me i'm just i'm enjoying it this is the best time uh i have some more cardboard there that i would be using throughout we're going to end up bringing uh landscape timbers up out of here from the playground and let this be grass uh, it used to be sand only i have other areas i need to clean up that's one of us you know one of my other areas so that's it walk and talk and tell you well, all the things I have to do, thank you for allowing me to share the yard with you. Heck, not only that, y'all, <laughs> I have so much fun and enjoy being in the yard. Your girl, honey, it's time to do a hair video, okay? It's, it's time because I'm putting everything before me and uh, I'm going to squeeze me in, all right? I'm going to squeeze me in. I just don't want to be in the summertime trying to get things together. And I'd be out here sweating. Yeah, I'd be, it'd be hot. And you see how much I have going on in here. So this is the best time for me to do it. And um, matter of fact, anybody want to do a collaboration of getting their yard together? That's not a bad idea either. I know everybody's doing it already, but just to keep us focused, something to think about, okay? So, um, so, so. Okay, once again, thank you, you all, for allowing me to share healthy living with you. This is not the only thing that goes on in healthy living. As far as the gardening, the flowers, cutting grass, cooking in the kitchen, uh, canning, uh, eating healthy, doing my hair. Not only that, I grow healthy vegetables, but I grow healthy hair as well. <laughs> And that's what's important, us trying to stay healthy as much as much as possible, staying in a budget while we do it, okay? All right, y'all, I got to let you go. See you all in the next video.